Hey Cougar fans, University of Sioux Falls men's basketball team picked up win number 11 with a 110-90 win over Concordia St. Paul here Friday night at the Stewart Center. Here with us tonight is freshman guard forward Drew Gieber who had 28 points. He hit uh, all seven of his free throws and five threes. Drew, big win for your team, breaks a three game losing streak. Talk about the importance of getting this win. Uh, it was a big win just overall. Um, we shared the ball really well tonight, which really helped. And uh, obviously we had uh, Daniel Hurt who was out, which was, we thought it was gonna hurt us a little bit, but we really shared the ball well and that just helped us out and we knocked down open shots. So. 23s, you had five of them. That, probably a school record. That had to feel pretty good to be out there with those guys today, right? Yeah, it's always fun to play on a team that's super unselfish and just plays well together. Yeah, I mean, Coach Johnson mentioned in the post game, you had 24 assists on, on, what is it, 35 baskets. That means you guys are spreading the ball and everybody was right. getting good looks, right? Yep, playing really well together. Yep. So, talk. let's end with this. You had a career high here. Uh, it's your first year, but you had 28 points. Talk about that. Have you had a game uh, that things kind of come together like that uh, before? In high school, I had a couple, but it really felt good tonight. But honestly, like the thing that really matters to me is whether we get a win or not. And that's we got that tonight, and that's that's my first priority. So, so you feel pretty good about the team and its chemistry and everything? Yeah, yeah we played very, very well tonight, yep. Drew, um, congratulations and good luck tomorrow night. Hey Cougar fans, we're here with USF head men's basketball coach Chris Johnson, whose team picked up a 110-90 win. The, the, the point total is the most since 115 against Grandview in 2013. That was in November of that year. Uh, the Cougars had an incredible night. They made 23 pointers and also made 20 free throws in shooting overall 61% from the floor in re registering their 11th win uh, of the season, sixth conference win. Chris, talk about the victory. You guys did a lot of things right, including sharing the ball. Yeah, I think that's probably the, the overriding factor. I mean, we had 24 assists on 30 35 made baskets, and uh, a lot of those threes that we made were because we made the extra pass or the extra, extra pass. and and uh, got some really quality looks and tonight we were knocking them down it was a bunch of guys you know clint made seven mac made three or four uh drew gebert made five you know aaron rotherman comes in and bangs one down i mean we just we had a lot of guys shoot the ball at a real uh, high level tonight and that always makes you look good that's for sure it's interesting clint thomas had seven against waldorf on seven and eleven shooting Tonight he was 7 of 11 again. And then you take uh, Drew Gieber, the freshman who we just had in here talking, and he hit eight field goals and five of them were three on six attempts. Uh, they they both were just knocking them down. But you guys got a, little, a lot of good offensive flow tonight. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a tough night when you go 7 for 11 from the three and you're overshadowed because another guy goes for 28, you know. And, right. uh, I, I thought we shared it just really well all night long and, and we executed you know the second half every time we we ran a set we got a great look and when you shoot at that level you're gonna you're gonna score a lot of points and, and uh, really happy with that that side of the ball not so much defensively but it's hard when you when it's rolling the way it is on on the other end and the game gets stretched out a little bit uh, but uh, just overall really happy with our performance tonight you know another guy when you have a when you have five people in double figures, including Mac Johnson with 16 and senior forward Jordan Stott with 11, but Jared Mays had a had a pretty solid effort in 15 minutes, 13 points, four for five from the field. He had knocked down a couple threes. Um, without Daniel Hurt tonight, he kind of stepped up for you. Yeah, and we needed that from Jared. It was a nice bounce back. You know, he'd been struggling a little bit, and we needed him uh, to kind of get back to his game. And I thought he did a great job tonight. You know, he's like you said, he banged down a couple threes. He got to the rim. He made his free throws. I just thought it was a really good effort out of him and, and something that hopefully he can build on here down the stretch. Another kid that uh, hasn't seen a lot of playing time this year, but um, he has been a, he saw it tonight was Cutler Finneman. And he had seven points, but he had some big shots for you. Yeah, and I think he had all seven in the first half. And, and we, re we needed all seven of them. And, um, you know, he, he I think he was three for four or three for five, something like that. Um, you know he's been through this. He's he started games in this league. You know, like the right. poor guy just been he's been hurt a lot. You know, and 
he's still kind of winding himself back into game shape and being ready to play, and we needed him tonight, and he stepped up big. And I was really happy to see uh, guys like Jared and, and Drew who – you know, didn't start tonight, but not because he did anything wrong, just because we were without Daniel Hurt, and we had to play him more inside than outside. And, uh, and then you look at uh, Cutler as well. I thought Zach Wessels played his best game yeah. of the year too. You know, he got guy. He a lot of those looks he got for guys by getting in the paint and spraying it around and getting getting it to shooters and, and did it a real nice job defensively tonight. So I was happy for those guys. Yeah, Zach also was one of the guards uh, along with Kibu Johnson who worked their way through that press without. Um, you, you had 13 turnovers tonight, but uh, I mean that was a pretty solid effort from that even that standpoint. Yeah, I think we we got a little sloppy with it twice against the press the whole night, and uh, one of them we got it back. Uh, one of them we turned it over, but you know when this team doesn't turn the ball over, we're fairly efficient offensively. You know, not maybe as efficient as we were tonight, right. but we you know we we've got a chance to to, to score some points. And so it was, it's you know it, it what's really nice is the things that we harped on all week. You know, we wanted to keep them off the old glass. We did a solid job, not a great job, but a solid job. We wanted to to have you know a bunch of assists and not turn it over. We did those two things, and, and we wanted to get great looks, and we did that. And anytime you know, coach is harping on things and they go out and do it, man, it, it, it feels nice because and then you want them to get rewarded for doing that and doing the right things, and they did that tonight. 53 points from your starters, 56 from your bench. I mean, I had, you have to be proud of the bench. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and, and for us, I mean, those guys, a lot of them have started games for us. You know, right. we've got kind of a – Eight, nine, ten man rotation. They know they're going to play, and uh, you know, one, one like Clint was back in the starting lineup tonight because of an injury, and he ran with it. Drew comes off the bench and gives us 28. Jared 13. You know, we just had a real nice night from from every guy that stepped on the floor for us. And finally, uh, we had one other member of that team that came. Uh, uh, he's missed a couple games for you, uh, Jonas Schleckaway, mm -hmm. who was here, and uh, he's missed a couple of games and had to be nice having him on the end of the bench tonight, right? It was. You know, to see him when I was walking in the locker room to give my pregame speech and comes up, gives me, you know, a big, big high five and a big grin. I mean, that makes the, the night start off great. And then you get him in the locker room after a win and everyone's happy. That's just a, that's an awesome feeling. You know, it puts it in perspective. You know, it's a game when you're dealing with the stuff that Jonah deals with. But to have him be a part of it when you have a great night, that's always a little bit sweeter. I have one final question. Have you ever, as a player or coach, been part of a team that made 23s? No. No, I haven't. That I can remember. You know, I'd have to go back and look. But I, I not since I've been here. And and to do it on 34 attempts. I, I mean, know. Yeah. I don't know. We could have kicked them in tonight. You know, it's nice. I just hope we didn't use them all up because no. we're going to need some tomorrow night. Right. Well, Congratulations on a great win tonight, Coach, and uh, good luck tomorrow. Thanks.